Hi, I'm Nigel, and this is Nigel Goes to Space. I'm really excited because I've got a ticket to fly into space with Virgin Galactic. It's a dream of a lifetime come true for me. I've been fascinated with space and astronomy since I was a kid. When I was about nine, I went out and looked up on a beautiful dark autumn night and I saw the stars twinkling away, the constellation patterns, um, the planets shining brighter than any of the stars. And then a, a meteor, a shooting star, flashed across the sky and I was hooked. My dad got me a star chart, I got a telescope. I used to go to the end of the garden at night and look around at those wonders up there. Um, in summer, I'd stay out all night long, those nice warm nights, until the sun came out. Uh, you know, I couldn't see anything after it started to get light, but somehow when the sun came up, it was the end of a session. In winter, the snow was two inches thick on the ground. I used to go up there. My mum thought I was crazy because the washing was stiff and alive. It was all frozen. But I'd go up there just by myself, my little transistor radio tuned to Radio Luxembourg for those hits of the 1960s, uh, looking up at nebulae, galaxies, double stars, coloured stars, planets. I love planets. Saturn was my favourite with his beautiful rings. And the moon, because with a telescope, if you look at the moon, those craters, it looks as if you're actually flying over that surface. And at that time was when the Apollo astronauts were going there. Neil Armstrong, of course, was the first to land. And I think of those guys going up there and landing, and I was looking at the moon from that planet Earth. And I never thought at that time that I'd be able to fly into space myself. Anyway, the time came to go up to uni, so I had to leave behind my backyard telescope. There we are, that's me at the age of 18 with my star chart looking pretty serious and my uh, big telescope. And I went up to the University of Leicester where I studied astrophysics. That's what makes the stars shine, how the Big Bang happened, uh, what it would be like to live on another planet. And then my specialist subject was radio astronomy. I went on to Cambridge and with our telescopes there we picked up radio emissions coming from the sky. For example, quasars, the most powerful objects in the universe. But my speciality was exploding stars, and at one time I was the world expert on one particular cloud of gas from a star that exploded 400 years ago. <laughs> but all the time, exciting developments were happening. Space probes were going past planets, seeing them close up. Astronomers with big telescopes were looking at other objects out there in the sky. And I really wanted to go out there and tell people about the excitement of the universe, not just focus on the one or two subjects which I had, but actually to tell people how fascinating the whole cosmos is. I was lucky enough to get a commission to get into writing and here's my first book, Space Frontiers. About space and the universe and if we look inside, and this is what's exciting for a first time author, have my name in print there as an author of this book. Well, since then I've gone on and done about 40 books and I'm still enjoying writing about the universe. As well as writing books I also got into television and with two friends and colleagues we set up an independent TV production company to make programmes and series about science. Now obviously I loved astronomy and I did those programmes but my first series was producing this the Body Atlas, which is all about the human body. But of course, I came back to programmes on space for British television, American television, sold around the world. Huge fun to do. Uh, some of them were about the space shuttle, how people go into space. But one day, my colleague said to me, look, Virgin Galactic are setting up in business. Richard Branson is selling tickets to go into space. And he said to me, look, Nigel, if the company bought your shareholding off you, then you could go into space. And I said, well, that's a no-brainer. And that's exactly what I did. And so in 2009, I applied to become an astronaut. I went to the website, filled in the details, paid the money, and then got a letter in the post from Richard Branson himself. And it says, Dear Nigel, I was so pleased to hear you'd completed your spaceflight reservation and wanted to welcome you personally as a Virgin Galactic pioneer. And that means I'm astronaut 245 on the list and six passengers on each flight I'll be on flight number 40 or so going up into space and that for me will be the dream of a lifetime. Nigel Goes to Space is all about my training, the preparations, what I'll be doing to get ready to go up there beyond the earth. So join me to find out more about how you become an astronaut, what astronauts eat, what we have to do to get into shape and um, also your questions about the universe. I can tell you about the Big Bang, about stars, planets, life in the universe too. We'll be looking at all of those subjects on Nigel Goes to Space, which is home on Naked Science. So follow me for a voyage through the universe.
Hi, I'm still here. I hope you got to see the eclipse today. In a few weeks' time, I'm going to be talking all about eclipses, and I'd love to hear what you saw. Bye for now.